In this demo, I'm going to show you how you can orchestrate Azure Databricks jobs by using the Databricks activity in your data pipelines in Microsoft Fabric. To get started, you'll first want to create a new pipeline. Give it a name and click Create. Once you've landed in the pipeline canvas, we can add a new Databricks activity by clicking the pipeline activity card, or you can find the activity on the activity bar at the top of the canvas. Now that I've added the activity to my pipeline, I can start to configure my settings. In Fabric, you can choose from four options for what Azure Databricks type you want to orchestrate. Notebook, Jar, Python, or Job, which we've just added. For this demo, I'll orchestrate a Databricks job from my data pipeline. I have another pipeline already configured, so let's take a look at that. As you can see, I have an Azure Databricks activity added to my pipeline, and I've already configured most of my activity. You'll see that I've selected my type to be job, and I've set the connection already. You can quickly edit or add a new connection by clicking edit or by clicking more, which will open up the get data experience. To connect to your Azure Databricks workspace, all you need is your workspace URL, and then you can choose to authenticate with either a personal access token or by adding your service principal details. Let me discard these changes and go back to the activity. You can use a job dropdown to select from your Databricks jobs. I just have one for copying my data to ADLS Gen 2. What's also new and exciting is that you can pass parameters from your data pipeline to your Databricks job. You'll find this under the job parameters section. I have three parameters that I want to use. If I navigate to my Databricks workspace, you can see that I have a notebook that takes three parameters and uses the parameters to write to my storage account. Now let's go back to my pipeline to save my changes and to run my pipeline. And voila, it ran successfully. If we take a look at the input, we can see the job parameters that I've passed and other details. And the output also shows me additional details in a quick link to my ADB workspace. And in my Databricks workspace, I can see my job parameters have been passed to my job run. You see that I have my Fabric data, Databricks demo, and my Fabric demo storage as values passed. And in my Fabric demo storage, you'll see that in the container, my Fabric data has a new folder called Databricks demo with all my data.